Okay, you're guaranteed probably about four questions over geometric mean. Okay, all right. So you're going to have at least only one dealing with the two number rule. Or no, maybe two. I think, yeah, two, one multiple choice, one not, and then uh, with the di with the triangle. So uh, test like, sorry, I don't have it up here. This would be um, 21, 22, and 23. Okay, all right. So I'm going to do the odds, maybe help a little bit with even, and then we're going to go into using geometric mean with the right triangle, so your heartbeat and boomerang. So here, we have two numbers. Um, our geometric mean basically is the number over x equals x over a number. And these two represent the numbers, or what we call the extremes. It's just some review. And then here is your geometric mean. Okay. All right. So if I'm going to set it up using a proportion, Basically, I do my 3 over x equals x over 18. And then we cross multiply. This would be x squared equals 3 times 18 would give me 54. But then we would take the square root. So if you go to your calculator, oops, which is here, and we go control x squared, put 54 in there, that's the decimal answer. But this helps me get to my right answer. Because I can check that with maybe an answer choice, or I can check that with how I simplify. So when I round this answer, this is approximately 7.3. Okay. Now, the other thing is I can simplify this. Well, I want to think of factors of 54 um, that can um, that might be a perfect square. Okay. So if I simplify. I'm trying to come up with numbers at 54. Well, yeah, 3 and 18 work, but then neither one is at 54. Hopefully, you remember 9 and 6. Okay, 9 times 6 gives me 54. 9 is a perfect square, which means square root of 9 is 3. So that comes out to be 3 square root of 6. So here are our possible answers right here. So we could have 3 square root of 6, which is the simplest radical form. And this is approximately... 7.3, which is what you could do. Let's say you didn't get it simplified right. You can check to see if you get the same decimal, meaning I know that it's supposed to be 7.3. If I type in 3, the square root of 6, yep, I get the same approximation, so I know I did it right, okay? All right, so let's look and see if our setup is correct for 22. Hopefully we have 6 over x equals x over 15. Now, uh, some of you use the two-number formula, which is fine. So you could say x equals the square root of 6 times 15, because you're multiplying the two numbers every time. So really, we have x squared equals 90. Okay, x equals the square root of 90. And we want to simplify that. Well, if I put that in my calculator, control x squared, and then the 90 inside, we can get a decimal answer, which is about 9.5. So we know we're approximately, we'll take the square root, approximately, that's the symbol for approximate, 9.5. But I can simplify this as 9 times 10. So that's your hint, see if you can get that step. I'm going to make sure we have 23 done correctly. So I'm going to do the proportion, okay, because this can help me when working backwards sometimes. So we got 32 over x equals x over 21. Cross multiply, we get x squared equals, sorry, 672. And now we're going to take the square root. We take the square root of that, and we get not a perfect square, approximate, so it's approximately 25.9. Approximately 25.9. Now, we need to simplify this. I need factors of 672 that um, are one at least is a perfect square. Well, I can do 16 times 42. Oops, sorry about this. Let me pause. Okay, so we have 6 times 42, 16, sorry. I said 6. I'm sorry, 16 times 14. Sorry about the technical difficulty. 16 we know is a perfect square. Okay, the square root of 16, that's a perfect square, is 4. 
and then we just keep the 42. So this would be 4 square root of 42, which is approximately 25.9. Okay? So you're going to have two problems, one multiple choice, one open ended, a two number rule. And then, oh, come on. Happen again. Sorry. deal with heartbeat or boomerang. Now you have to do geometric mean with the right triangles, okay? So, in this section we're finding the missing, the values of the variables. So parts two are geometric mean. If we have, or trying to find the segment right here, that is called the altitude. And so if we ever need to find the altitude, we use heartbeat. Draw your heartbeat, your EKG, and follow that heartbeat. So it goes five, 2 up the x, so 5 over x, come back down x, that's x over 15. And so right there we have our cross products, um, our proportion, we just need to get the cross products to solve for x. So, so we have x squared basically equals to 75, if we take the square root, this actually can be simplified to 25 times 3, which is 5 root 3. Or if you put in your calculator, that's approximately 8.7. So that's if the variable or the number's inside. If we're trying to find what's on the outside, so I'm going to have to erase this part right here. If I'm looking for what's on the outside, so like for example, Z is on the outside, Z is a leg. If I need to find the leg, that's when I do boomerang. Boomerang says you take the whole hypotenuse. So this whole distance would be adding the five and the 15. So that's 20, go to the leg, come back down the leg, stop at that segment. So my proportion for my z would be 20 over z equals z over 5. Okay, 20 is adding this 5 and 15 together to get to 20. All right, so when we cross multiply, z squared equals 100, and this is a perfect square. So when I take the square root, this is what I'm saying, we don't have to put anything in the radical, because if you didn't know it was a perfect square, if you took the square root, you get a whole number answer. There's no decimal, so that we're done. There's no more radicals. So z equals 10. Now, I have to do the boomerang on the right side, because y is also a leg. So now I'm going g to k all the way to y, then coming back and stopping at 15. So there's a boomerang to the right side. So that would be 20 is to y as y is to 15. And then we're cross multiplying here, and we get y squared equals 300. And then we're taking the square root, which I can simplify as 100 times 3. And 100 is a perfect square, so that becomes 10 square root of 3. Or if you get in your calculator because you're not good at simplifying, you should have, I think, 17.6. Okay, so on this page, the test like, I apologize, R25, okay, 26, and 27. All right, so I'm going to go on to 27, 26, and 28 are kind of similar to your notes, so just check in your notes, you might see some problems or some setups similar to those. So, on 27, to find the Y. What method will we use to find this segment inside? Absolutely, if you said heartbeat. So you can start from the bottom or the top, but this should be 6 over y equals y over 24. Sorry. Cross multiply, y squared equals 6 times 24 is 144. And we're going to take the square root. That's the perfect square again. So y equals 12, and we're done. It's the whole number answer. So we're doing boomerang for the y. What do we do for the x? I mean, I said boomerang for the y. Heartbeat for the y. Do boomerang for the x. I'm talking crazy. I'm sorry. All right, so do the whole hypotenuse. So what would that length be if I add them together? Yes, 30. 2x. You come back, 2x, and you stop right there at 6. So we have 30 is to x as x is to 6. And then we're going to cross multiply. And we get x squared. 180, and then we're going to take the square root, and x equals, if we put in the calculator, 
the decimal is approximately 13.4, but I can simplify this, okay, and I can use, if I do that right, yeah, so I can simplify that and get, see, what was it, my, alright, so yeah, 36 times 5, which is 6. Alright, so on 28, since they want you to find the length of GH, GH is here, so I'm going to put an X there. So we're going to do boomerang for that. And HK, HK is over here, so I'm going to put a Y there. It's also boomerang, we're going the other direction. But, when we're going the other direction, we need this part over here. Well, if I know the whole thing is right here, this whole thing is 32. How can I find what remains? Well, just subtract it. So this part here has to be 32 minus 8, which means it has to be 24. So that helps you out a little bit if we're doing boomerang for both. And that takes care of geometric mean. Now we're going on to our next section, which is proportional parts.